Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked my intro. The OGs to this channel would know that that was my old intro for a very long time before I stopped using it. But now it's back and I like it. I might update it soon. But here I am at Sam's Club. I wanted to show you guys what I get. And I'm still new to this, so it's very hard for me to know what people like, knows what people what sells, knows what I should get, and I struggle when I come to Sam's Club all the time because I'm just so confused on what to get. I started out with these honey buns and it has a very good profit margin but I always want to end up getting the variety pack instead and I know a lot of people told me that I should not get the variety packs because it gives you more control on what you can sell when you just end up getting the one pack of things but I have relatively very small machines it's not very deep I can't fit that many in them right now so getting a, a pack that just has that one thing in it might be too many i don't think they'd fit into the machine um but god honey buns smell so good i also get confused with the chips all the time and what pastries to get um as you can see the honey buns are by themselves a better price but i like variety packs so what do you guys think below should i not be getting the variety packs and i know pastries get you know people say pastries kind of get outdated quickly but I just have to learn from experience for what sells at my locations. What sells at your location might not sell at my location. What sells at my location might not sell at your location. So today we are buying snacks for this new location that I got in Norfolk, Virginia. It is a gaming place. I'm not allowed to say what it actually is because I think it's technically legal in Virginia, but they kind of got away with it. <laughs> and. It's a bunch of guys who work there and a bunch of guys who go there to play the game. So as you can see, I got the variety pack of the candy again. Someone told me I should not, but I don't know. I just got to see what sells and then maybe I'll buy the one pack. But for right now, the variety pack of Skittles and M&Ms is a really good price. Also, I was looking at some healthy foods. Um, pretzels are 20 cents and I was thinking that you know, it'd be great for people who are drinking until I found out that they can't drink there. Virginia's very strict on where and when you can drink. It kind of sucks because I think drunk people spend the most money. And I want to get the classic mix of cookies, but they're too small. And someone told me not to get them because I might not be able to sell them for a lot, but I did put them in my basket. I didn't want to spend too much time in Sam's Club showing you guys what I got because this is my first time trying out me showing you guys what I buy and how my headspace is right now. So I got a few teas, brisk tea, we're in Virginia so I'm thinking everybody likes tea. Um, Coca-Cola as you know, I usually get the full pack of those. I hear sodas are the best sellers, great parf <laughs> great profit margins from that also I wanted to try out some energy drinks this time because again at this point I was thinking that it was going to be a bunch of drunk people buying from my machines and they were gonna be staying up pretty late here in this place so I was thinking energy drinks plus alcohol that makes a very good concoction you're gonna stay up late and you know get your buzz but I found out later on when I went to the place to put my food in there that no drinking is not allowed like I said Virginia sucks and as you can see my boyfriend took my cart and I had to go all the way to the other side with this heavy soda to put it into my cart thanks a lot appreciate that so we're looking at the sports drinks now and honestly I had no idea what to get I knew Red Bull and Monster and Bang were the best sellers from the groups that I'm in could not find Bang and I didn't want to be too rash and get a variety pack of Monster because I knew top sellers from all my friends were the green pack and I was looking at all the packs here but I kept going back and forth between should I get the green pack should I get the variety pack and I was also looking at the Red Bull to see the prices so this was a big steep buy here because the initial investment is about $33 as you guys can see and they are about $1.25 or so inside the pack so I had to up my prices in hopes that people would buy them
and I actually ended up setting them to three dollars let me know down below if that's a good price before I bought this I needed to call in a friend so I went in and talked to Ernie he is in the Facebook group he's one of the admins in the vending group and I was asking as many questions as I could what are the most all oh, the phones going off <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to ask him what are the most popular labels that he makes for energy drinks and he told me that Green Monster. He doesn't really make any labels for Red Bull so I went ahead and pulled Red Bull. Well not Red Bull. I went and pulled Monster. I sometimes don't do anything without consulting people in the group because they're so helpful. Ernie you are the man. Thank you so much for your help. I really hope I'm not annoying you or anyone in the group, but let me know down below what energy drinks do you guys sell in your vending machine. I actually went to a health or workout store to see how much bang is and it's just too much for the profit margin so I'm going to have to find out online if I can get it for cheaper to ship to me so that I can sell for a good profit. So I'm going to be looking into Bang, but I'm getting Monster this time, and now let's head to where my machine is. And I also have to pay for it today. You guys, so this machine is costing me $1,500, which is not a bad price. When I looked up this machine, which I totally forget what machine it is, it went for $4,000 online, and I met a guy that has a warehouse in Norfolk, Virginia, who is an awesome guy. Shout out to Scott. Um, he gave me this machine for $1,500 and it is it is a combo machine, so sodas at the bottom two rows and snacks at the top three rows. So here I'm putting in my Mountain Dew. I'm selling it. I know everyone told me to up my prices on sodas, but I kind of chickened out and I'm still only selling the sodas for $0.30. Cents. But I'm making it up in profit with my monsters. I have upped the prices on water as well. So water is going to sell for $1.05. And the famous Amos cookies are going to sell for $0.85 cents or $0.90. Cents. I'm not sure. But as you can see, I am color blocking. I've been watching some videos where people in the comments were saying that Color blocking is a great way to display your things because it kind of stands out with people. And I took a lot of marketing classes. Actually, my degree is in marketing, so I kind of knew all about, and visual merchandising. I knew about visual merchandising and trying to make it look appealing to people. So I am definitely regretting buying the very big packs of sodas because I cannot fit a lot in there. I'm learning from my mistakes. I know a lot of people are going to point that out. Someone told me to go to Dollar General to get my sodas on Saturdays because they have a really big sale and the soda packs are smaller. So I've learned my lesson not to buy such big soda packs from Sam's Club for this machine. Thankfully, I have two other machines that I can place the extra inside of, but it's still way too much for me to feel comfortable with but look at that color blocking you guys do you like it I got the green red blue green it looks so good I guess the visual merchandising money for school is paying off maybe maybe not what do you guys do do you color block your machines so water is going in it's a dollar five originally it was going to be just a dollar but I did not have any more $1 stickers, so I made it $105 because those are the only stickers I had left. So let's see if these people buy it. The owner of the place said that the people there are always asking for water and the closest place to buy snacks or sodas or any drinks is about a mile or three down the road driving and that's going to Walmart. Who wants to drive to Walmart at 2 a.m. in the morning when you're in the middle of a game? So it's working out for me. Um, is it wrong for me to put the monsters on the outside of the machine? Because they are kind of black, but I thought it'd be made up with the green M on the side. But yeah, I'm kind of regretting buying such a big pack and literally I can only fit about 12 in this machine or something. I don't even know, it's kind of disappointing, I'm kind of mad about it. <laughs> so here I'm trying to figure out if I should put an extra row of water in. I was asking the guy what sells the most and I also wanted to check the dates to make sure that it wasn't going to go bad anytime soon because I was literally regretting at this point buying such 
big packets of soda. Kind of stressed out? I don't know. I need some encouragement. Here's the dilemma that I was facing. I was wondering if I should open up another two packets of soda that are different to give them variety or to fill the last four sides up with the same soda that's already selected at the top. So maybe another Pepsi, maybe another cola. But I like options. I don't know what these people like. They could like Dr. Pepper and I am forgetting a whole entire segment of people who like Dr. Pepper if I didn't do that. So again, kicking myself in the butt that I totally bought way too big of soda packs for this machine. You live and you learn. I don't. I know I'm gonna hear it down in the comments below that combo machines, you know, are not passive income because you have to check on them more often because there's not as many products in it and you know you can't buy too big of products because they don't fit in there so I am learning like I told you guys this is my journey on starting this business I am in the dark waddling around in the dark trying to figure it out so I'm learning thank God I could fit in all the rest of the water that I bought from another place that I had already stocked full with the water so I did decide to put some more Pepsi in there because I didn't have another option for um, another different type of soda. So, and I know Pepsi is pretty popular, so I decided to do that. I didn't open my tea, so we're gonna see if these, if any of these sodas do sell or don't sell, and I might replace with tea. I don't know. It's uh, kind of getting to me. So now I'm trying to just make this look presentable to go back in my car, and you know I'm pretty disappointed at this point. <laughs> Let me know down below, do you guys like videos like these? Are you liking my voiceover with me showing you what I do and how I set up? I mean, give me some questions down below what you want me to answer next time. I kind of like how I can just get my thoughts out to you guys and just show you a very soothing type of video of me stocking my machines because I enjoy watching other people stock their machines. So I was hoping you guys would. This is my first vlog type of video where I don't show my face. I'm very used to showing my face, so this is new. So let me know down below if you like it. I find these videos very soothing, so let me know if I should continue or not, and I will go by what you guys like. Alright, so we're starting on candy now, and I decided that a lot of people were asking me why I started a vending machine company, and I guess this would be a perfect opportunity to tell you while I am stocking up my machine. The reason why I started was because I work from home. I get up at 3 a.m. every day, almost every day, sometimes it's 4 a.m., but I'm trying to get in there at 3 a.m. now. And I begin teaching online. I am an online ESL contractor teacher. I work from my computer, I sit on the floor, and I talk to students from Japan. Um, I've gotten students from France, talked to mostly students from China though, and I really love it. But the problem is, is that I get off at 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon every day. And before I started this business, I was either laying down, watching my phone, going to the gym here and there, and cleaning the house. Not much of a life. Sometimes I would see my friends, sometimes I wouldn't. But when I got off work, my friends were still at work. They didn't get off till 5 p.m., 6 p.m., and by the time they got off, my boyfriend was home and I wanted to spend some time with him for two hours, maybe three hours, before I started work again. I am a bit of a workaholic. I love money, so because I sat around for six hours, five hours after I got off work, I'm bored. So I want to start working again, and I would take a shift for 5.30 or 6.30 p.m. and work sometimes all the way up to 10.30 p.m., and it just wasn't much of a life. I could have spent my time more wisely by making money. And I did this for a while, I started to get lazy, I just didn't like who I was becoming because I had so much free time. I needed a way to make more money and to become self-reliant. Even though I'm and I work from home as a contractor for myself, it still was a job where I could get fired from. My life was in someone else's hands. So I decided to start a vending machine company. I learned about this a year ago um, from YouTube and I decided to just do, hey, why not? Let's do it. I did some more research into it and then the next day I was on Craigslist looking up 
vending machines in my area. Thank God I found a vending machine that was already placed. So my first one, you can find my video on it, five videos from below. I started a vending machine business, that's what I called it. And I spent $1,200 on that machine that was placed in a printing warehouse as my first machine. I haven't done a collection video on any of my machines yet, so that's coming up in December. But then I just started full blown, let's go, dot ass to the wall, whatever it's called, let's get this money. And I drained myself. I would go out every day for two to three hours looking for new vending machine locations. And here I am now. I have five locations, two bulk and three full line. Talk about hustle. So I didn't even bother filming the top half of my machine of me filling it in. I am 4'11". I am not fitting. I am not going to be able to reach to the top and show you guys at the same time. I need to bring a step stool because this is a real problem. I cannot reach into those top shelves of these machines. But now I am setting my prices in the machine. I've raised the prices and I was just figuring out how to use the board. I do want to update this board so that it is MDB. I think that's what it's called where I can put on a credit card reader. This place is a cash only place so that was the problem where I might not need it. There's an ATM up against the wall where you can't see, but yeah, I'm raising the prices. I don't know, I may not need a um, credit card machine, maybe. Let me know down below, should I get one? And this is my video for me stocking my machine. Again, let me know down below. Do you enjoy these types of videos? I'm kind of really liking this chill vibe of mine of just sitting here talking to you guys about what's on my mind. If you do, just put down below some questions and some comments that I can reply to when I do my next filling. And I'm going to be placing another bulk machine. That's my primary focus going to be right now is bulk machines until January or February. And again, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification. I am very appreciative of you guys coming and watching these videos and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night and you know let's communicate in the comment section down below all right i'll see you guys later